Welcome back folks. Today we have a really special unboxing video. The official Dragon Quest Twitter account recently held a new winter contest with prizes. This time it was a screenshot contest requiring you to take a screenshot in Dragon Quest XI's first person mode and submit it under either the hashtag DQ11Funny or DQ11Epic. The entries would be chosen by Dragon Quest XI's director Takashi Uchikawa and producer Hokuto Okamoto themselves. This time only two people in North America were to be selected for the prize, and two from outside of North America. And I'm one of the winners. Again. I won the summer contest last year as well, and I am the only person who has won every contest so far. My entry was for the DQ11 funny category. I submitted a shot of Hendrik at the campsite reading a book, and I just made a joke about how it was blank. That was enough to win, I guess. DQ11's producer Hokuto Okamoto chose my entry as a winner, and he even left an interesting comment on it which was seen in the Facebook post. He comments, Hmm, I wonder what type of book Hendrik, commander of the Heliodor army, is reading. What, it's blank? But I can see what's there. Everyone should look more closely too. For those who have made it to this point in the game, I bet you know exactly what it says. Like I said, it's interesting. I'm not sure if this is some sort of lore hint, but maybe we should check out the book Hendrik is reading again in the future. I have to say, it is very cool to be recognized by the producer of my favorite game for the whole generation like this. The fact that he selected my entry himself makes this win much better. As for the prize, it isn't quite as exciting as last time. That was a poster signed by Yuji Hori, which is holy grail level stuff. But there's some nice goods they were kind enough to send me here. I should have gotten a copy of Dragon Quest XI's edition of Lost Time and a Luminary Bring Arts figure both of which I already have, which is funny, though I don't have an issue with getting more. Let's take a look. Now let's get to unboxing this package we received. So it's actually a very heavy package, and I'm gonna have to get this open right now. Cutting off the sides. And there we have it. So let's see what's in the package. Right away you can see that the figure is right on top. So we can take a quick look at that. Just put that off to the side. Oh, and it's actually the, the special edition they gave me. It's a metal slime one. Uh, that's pretty surprising. I'll uh, set that aside and we'll take a look at what's underneath. It looks like the edition of Lost Time is in a separate package on its own. I guess we'll be able to uh, unpack that in a second. So I'll set that down. Alright, so the figure. This figure is actually... As you know, I've done a review of the Luminary Bring Arts in the past, but this one is not the same one. This one has a metal slime figure in the top corner, which is cool. I did not realize they were going to send me a special edition. This is an exclusive to the Square Enix store, the Square Enix store, and it has a metal slime instead of the regular slime that you're normally supposed to get. So that's actually very cool. So it's not the exact same figure as I had before. That's, that's nice to have. And yeah, it's all in this packaging. I probably won't, won't open this one because I already have a Bring Arts Luminary figure that I opened and did a review on. So I'll leave this here. And as you can see, here's the box for the old one that I opened up already. The, the boxes look identical except for the sticker telling you about the metal slime. Even the back looks the same. And the sides. So yeah, the boxes are pretty much exactly the same. There's no differences at all. But yeah, it's quite a cool collector's item, having the Bring Arts Luminary with the limited metal slime version. Very nice of them to send me this version. I expected they, them to just send me the regular one, so this is, this is pretty surprising that I got the metal slime edition.
And you can just take a look at that real quick. Alright, moving on. This must be the addition of lost time that I was supposed to get. So, we'll just carefully open this one up. I think I might want to keep the box for this, because it's uh, very snug. Get that open carefully. And there it is, the addition of lost time. Now, the addition of lost time, I did an unboxing of that as well. It does not actually have the game itself within the package. The game should be separate, so as soon as we pop this out carefully, there should actually be another copy of the game underneath. And the copy of the game with the additional lost time is special because it actually has the Japanese cover art, let me show you in a second, on the outside rather than the inside. So it has an exclusive cover well, it's not exclusive. You can get that by reversing it, but a sealed copy with this kind of cover art is not easy to come by. It's only available in this exclusive edition. So this is a nice package. There are overall two different items I already own, but it's still nice to have another one. So let's take a closer look at the version of the game with the additional lost time. So having a sealed copy with this cover on the outside, the Japanese Toriyama Sensei's uh, art on the outside it's pretty nice and it's uh that's a lot, lot nicer than the cover that we got i guess was supposed to appeal to the western audiences of western um fans of fantasy and all that so this is a nice package to have and i could probably keep this put, put away for a little while it's not easy to find an addition of lost time so having two of them it's nice to have And the art on the cover, it's very nice art. I actually prefer this much more than the American version that we got, the North American version. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing this prize unboxing. It was really cool that Square Enix chose me for the second prize, and I was very happy to hear the news. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.